hi to Chaco. Oh, the death knight first. Okay. It's still morning here, Kappa. Forces are under attack. How are we all this afternoon? Hey, nice uh, coil on the wisp. Why are all the pros suddenly playing doing more? Or does it just seem that way? It uh, does seem that way to me. And I think it's, um, I don't know, maybe just a little bit bored with 1v1. We have a keeper here and a mount king. Okay, no crit lord first. Which platform will the Chaco Cup use? It is uh, gonna be mostly on the uh, Warcraft 3 Arena. We'll just use the bots. So you can play it, I think, from Battle.net, but I don't know how that works. The Death Knight here killing a Berserker. Roar. And there's another coil on the cool. And the Keeper does pick up the Tome. And, uh, oh, he kills a ghoul. What a nice kill on the ghoul. What a nice kill. Okay, well, uh, we have a blade master killing some creepies. He's almost level two. We have a mount king, storm building peasants, uh, also known as acolytes. He cancels his tech. Fly cancels his tech. Fly got on that, by the way. Lin is playing as orc. Uh, we have Infi playing as night elf, and his ally 120 is playing as human. Of course, they play all. They all went random, so uh, only Lin, only Lin got his main race. This uh, this acolyte doesn't want to die, but you know that's what's happening to him. He's he survived. No, the ghoul goes down. What was he doing there? Nice micro fly, Kappa. The death knight uh, did get a stormbolt surrounded by a footman. He is going to eat his ghoul because he has death pack second instead of unholy aura. He kills a footman. Can he fight his way out? He can. Wow. New uh, strategies, guys. Coil first, death pack second, and this this uh, the guy has to TP out. Okay, nice. Blade master meanwhile just creeping the center. He has a potion of greater healing now. Hi to Chocolate Cup, I'm so excited. My girlfriend has cancelled Wednesday, which means I can watch. <laughs> Great. Great. Sounds good. That sounds uh, not just good, it's amazing. But if she didn't cancel, I assume you would just watch with your uh, girlfriend, right? This grunt here took an entangle, and a lot of damage here from these huntresses. And over here, grunts entangled surrounded. Team Orange, are they falling apart? Chaco Chaco lower right overlay weirds me out. What uh, what about it? What about it weirds you out? Oh, um, this kind of. Weird, players forces are under attack. Oh yeah, I usually hide this in 2v2. I just now remember. Color source. Not this one. Color source there. Yeah, for some reason uh, that's broken in 2v2. I don't understand why, because you know, on my side in the control panel thing, it is not broken. But it's only broken for you guys. Uh, not that I, you know, care. <laughs> because I never, uh, you know, I never fix the 2v2. I kind of want to do that someday. But on the other hand, you know, I kind of don't want to waste my time on it. We have a keeper here, some uh, hunters and some footman just creeping beautifully. I would watch you with my girlfriend, but then she might leave me for you and your pearly whites. Um, well, you could hide my webcam if that's uh, if that's an issue. A player's forces are under attack. Just put something like in front of the bottom uh, bottom right corner. Blade Master is going back. He's level three, the only level three hero in this game. The Mountain King is almost level three. And uh, this ghoul is in trouble. What is happening over here? We have a shadow hunter with some grunts uh, creeping. This ghoul is so dead, guys. He's trying to go for the keeper. Uh, the keeper doesn't have a DP or anything. The death knight can eat another ghoul if he wants to or if he's hungry. There, he eats that ghoul. The keeper gets away nice and tangled. What the fuck? How did the keeper even get away? I thought he was dead for sure. I was wrong. Of course, there was no aura, so the units moved super slow. And now they're going for the mountain king. Uh, 
No mana even for Death Pact. The Death Pact is dead because of no mana. That's interesting. That's super interesting. This expansion going up here for Team Orange, by the way. Of course, this expansion has been up for a while here for uh, for Team Red or for, team, for 120. Uh, the Blade Master. Where did he go, actually? Blade Master is hunting down this Keeper. And with the Shadow Hunter, should be easy peasy. Uh, keeper is now a little uh, Hermit's Crab. Meanwhile, Ghouls are dying over here. This Ghoul is pretty dead. And the Keeper did go down. This Footman taking some damage. Thanks, Chaco. You managed to rid me of my anxiety. <laughs> That's what I'm here for. There's a hex on this Mountain King. Can he kill it? He needs some crits. Where are the crits? I haven't seen any crits yet. Of course, he only has level 1 critical strike, but... Come on. There's no TP on this Mountain King, by the way. He's dead. There's 84 crit. There's some... Uh-oh. Uh Mountain King is dead. Okay. But he needs another heal wave. I, maybe once... No, he needs to use this heal wave. He's not gonna be level 3 pretty soon. Anytime soon. He needs to use it. Why does he not use it? Okay, there it is. Now the Blade Master can start killing units again. And he, go, he goes for the Huntress. He almost was surrounded there by some footmen. But uh, Speed Scroll gets him out of there, maybe. Yes, he gets out. 120 misses the surround with the footmen. The two Huntresses, though. Easy peasy targets. One dies. There's an snare on the, on the Rifleman. It's going down. The Shadow Hunter just killing this uh, Huntress. Ah, level 4 Blade Master. And they get more kills. The Raider's just so good if you win a fight in 2v2. The Death Knight is back. Or if you, even if you don't win a fight, if the opponent has to retreat without a TP, like massing Raiders is just perfect. Mass Raiders, by the way, is the best strategy in 2v2 anyway. Because you can just base race. You can go to one base. They TP in, you can go to the other base, they TP in, you go to the other base, they don't have any TPs anymore, you kill it. You go to that base again, they TP in, you go to that base, they again they don't have TP, you kill it. And then it's uh, three base against one base. Something like that. He's <laughs> Death Knight, he has, uh, he's almost level 3, no aura, he's kinda, you know, not that strong of a Death Knight with the Death Knight. <laughs> he won't get aura until he's level 4. Well, do we have pillage? No pillage here! For Lin, okay, he's getting pillage. Do we, do we have TPs for Team Red? I don't think so, this expansion is just dead. The Mount King is, by the way, still dead, isn't he? There's a the Keeper, he also wish wishes to die. Well, let's see. Is he going for... Uh, do we have a TP here? We do have a TP here for Lin. But not for his ally, the Death Knight. Oh, actually, never mind. He also has a TP. The Raider guy goes down. He kills the tower. And what is he going to do, to do here? TP out. Go for the Keeper first. Goes for the Keeper first. Easy kill on the Keeper. Uh, actually, not true. The Keeper does have a TP and can buy healing potions here at the shop. So instead, uh, he TPs out a bit. You know, that gamble on the Keeper wasn't probably not worth it. He lost like two Raiders, a Grunt, maybe more. And um, beautiful. Base is being rebuilt here by 120. 120 is at Keep. He has double barracks, by the way. He's been building Riflemen and Footmen. His ally, of course, went from Huntresses to, to Dryads. We have, of course, Fly. He went from Ghouls to uh, One Fiend. He will get more fiends and statues. And of course we have uh, li a Linear with the Raiders. He's now going for the next base. That's what the Raiders do. They don't creep. They don't fight. They suck at either. They go for a base. They, they pillage the base. They kill the buildings. Get a lot of gold and money and lumber. And maybe they should go for a hero kill with the Raiders. With the Blade Master and the Shadow Hunter. But uh, hello Blade Master. Are you going to die? Yep. That's of course because his ally is Fly. And Fly was like, no, lose your Blade Master. This is the perfect timing. And Flynn is like, I don't want it. And Fly is like, trust me. And Lin is like, okay. And he loses his Blade Master there. Thanks to Fly. Okay, well, this Triad goes down. There's a healing wave. This Raider goes down. These uh, hunters just go down. Oh, one well, raider goes down. We have a surprise, Mountain King, surprise. I'm over here. And 
There goes another Raider. Hey Splix, welcome back. Chaka knows we're gonna win. He always knows. Of course. Perfectly timed <laughs> Blade Master death. Typical fly. I mean... It is Lin. But yeah, typical fly strategy. Okay, is the Wyvern here in the air? Wait, wait. Focus won uh, 21,000 US dollars last month, uh, last year. That's enough to live in, uh, in Korea or China. Easy peasy. He lives in Korea, I believe. We have some uh, drives here. Some wyvern using speed scrolls. This uh, this drive is dead. For wyvern here in the air. But the birdie sees everything. Wait, he switched to wyvern. I just now realized. I was reading chat a little bit, and now I missed the switch from raiders to wyvern. Okay, Wyvern are of course great against Dryads and the Huntresses. Not so great against uh, Stormbolts and Rifle. A player's forces are under attack. Okay, the Keeper gonna defend by himself. He does have Endurance Aura. What is uh, Fly doing by the way? Fly? What is Fly doing? They're losing one base. They're going for the counter attack. What is... Oh, here he is. I totally knew exactly where he was, guys. I was just seeing if you guys saw on the mini map where he was, just so you guys, I mean, if it's too passive for you guys. If you guys are just watching me play this, uh, commentate this game, you guys have nothing to think about. It's more fun if you guys have to think about it a little bit yourself as well. These two fiends here are going down though, and uh, the Death Knight has another coil. He's level 3, he has the 1 1 1 build, level 1 coil, level 1 death pack, level 1 aura. Interesting choice. This, uh, fiend, uh, this uh, Huntress goes down. This Huntress, I mean. There's not, there's not even uh, that many fiends. There's one fiend with 12 hit points. There's two destroyers. Actually, one just died to the art dryads. There's only one, uh, one left. Space totally dead. Where did, uh, where did his allies go? Where did, where did the wyvern go? Here they are. Doesn't look good for Team Orange at this point. TP out by the Death Knight, and let's look at the supplies here for a moment. Let's look at it. Um, AD against, you know, AD three. So the supplies are pretty even. But we have, you know, no base over here. Which is, uh, and here we have four bases. So, four bases against two bases. Usually four bases is much more unprofessional than two bases. Check on those life codes, Naga. <laughs> I make twice that, but I guess I don't have fun when I work when, and he does. I mean, I mean, but you probably don't live in Korea anyway. Or maybe you do, but even if you did, I'm just saying, 21k is uh, plenty of money. A town is under siege. Is it plenty of money? Does a normal job make you more money? Normal job is like what, 3k a month? So 3 times 12 is 36. Okay, I guess a normal job would make you more money in um, in uh, the in most Euro uh, Western countries. I'm not sure about Korea. Uh, there's a strong boat kills a ghoul. From what I know, the Korean uh, job market isn't actually that great. Because they only really have one super successful company, which is Samsung. And then they have... Uh, the other companies aren't that great. Uh, we have an uh, Hex here. On the raccoon, the lich goes down. Okay, Tom is under siege. Well, the keeper does TP out. The destroyer goes down, and uh, it seems like uh, 120 with the rifleman. He's just as good as he is with fiends. I haven't seen a rifleman die in the last five minutes. I'm not sure if if I've seen a rifleman die this game at all. There goes another fiend. Uh, yeah, fiend. There goes another grunt. This rifleman guy is still alive. Oh, he does survive. Not enough bashes. He needs more bashes. Why did oh and the rifleman does die? But that wasn't uh, his fault, of course. That was uh, you know there's nothing you can do when you're fighting two against one. Look at this shadow hunter, the death knight. It's pretty much two against one, right? Well, the riflemen are retreating. 
Mountain King is level 5, Paladin level 1. Kills one more. And does he TP out or something? Or what's he going to do? He's just fighting. He's fighting against skeletons. And what do we have over here? Two Wyvern being followed by a birdie. Another Holy Light there on the Mountain King. He does TP out. And what is this bunny? He TPs out that with him. 2-1 upgraded bunny, by the way. Average UK income is around 27,000 uh, pounds a year. You must have shitty fingers though, painful hands. I'm not sure. I wonder how Lin and Fly can speak. I mean, I think Lin probably knows a bit of Chinese right by now, right? He's been living in China for a long time now. Maybe it's enough money, but what are you going to do in 10 years? That's the question. Well, the thing is, you know, he probably didn't have much uh, expenses, right? Like when I was living in Korea, I lived for like $500 a month. And it was like in the middle of Seoul. If he doesn't even live in Seoul, it's going to be half half that. But let's say he lives in Seoul. I mean, he has, he has a wife now. If he has to spend money on his wife, of course, it's going to be um, uh, more expensive. But... Um, you know, $500 a month is like, uh, how much is that? 5,000, 6,000 a year. So then you can save uh, 15,000 a year and you can just invest that money into, uh, you know, into stuffs, into stocks or whatever. And then in 10 years, you don't have to work anymore. Chaco is a ladder because it always watch this team playing. Should have more two v two teams. It's not really ladder. It's just uh, custom games. But uh, if his wife doesn't work, of course, if his wife doesn't work and he has to, he has to uh, earn money for two. Twenty one thousand a year is kind of low, I guess. Uh, also depends where they live. Town is under siege. And maybe if he likes expensive food, suddenly it's not that much money anymore. Although, I'm not sure if there are ex is any expensive food in Korea. Anyway, there's a roar used by the the bear. This rifle, this raider is dead. Uh, Paladin, he used the invul invo thing. Let's see what, what's going down next. The destroyer is dead, guys. We have a hippo in the air. Can Team Orange survive here? No, the Blade Master goes down. And uh, it does look like Team Red's army is just too big here. Four bases against two bases. Just not fair. The Paladin is, uh, is still alive. He gets a healing potion. He just doesn't even die. And this looks like GG.